Today I'm going to be showing you the basic controls of the electric Kia Wheel 5.2 and what comes in the box. There will be other videos that go into more detail on the features and how to spin your yarn. So here's the electric Kia Wheel 5.2 and when you order this you'll also get a silicon mat to help reduce vibrations when you set it down on it. There's a foot pedal, the power supply, there's three bobbins, a little orifice hook to help thread the yarn through the bobbin and there's this reducer and this helps reduce wobbling of the yarn when you're spinning really thin singles. So one of the first things you want to check when you get your electric gear wheel is that the tension band is installed properly so it should be in the groove of the bobbin like it is here and then this knob is the tension knob and it controls basically how much uptake or how much pull the yarn has when you're spinning it. So you'll want to set this fairly lightly to start with and then if you want it to pull a little harder you can increase the tension by dialing the uh, tension dial. The other thing you'll want to check is the drive belt and this is a belt that goes around the flyer here and this is uh, installed properly and you can see that it's in the groove of the flyer and you'll also want to check on the inside that it's properly installed on the pulley that's on the motor and you just make sure the drive belt's uh, in the groove of the pulley like this and then you're good to go and basically when you turn the dial and start spinning and those are sort of the basic controls. If you want it to spin in the other direction when you're plying, you'd spin it like this. Now I'll quickly show you how you can install the lead yarn on your electric Kia Wheel 5. So you just put it around the bobbin like that. And there are knots you can use, but I, I just tend to use a piece of tape to hold the lead yarn on. You don't really ever change the lead yarn, so you just do this once per bobbin. And then you leave it through there and then I'm going to use the orifice hook through the front sort of grab the lead yarn and now at this point you're ready to spin and you just attach your single to the uh, lead yarn here and you'd, you'd be able to start spinning. Moving the yarn guides on the electric heel wheel is very easy you just slide them back and forth like this to where you want and you're good to go. One thing I will mention is because of the higher speed of the electric heel wheel 5.2, at the highest speeds, you'll start to get a little wobble. And if you put these yarn hooks directly across from one another, you'll reduce the amount of uh, wobble. One nice thing about this spinning wheel is how easy it is to change the bobbin. You just take the tension band, put it behind like that. You can flip down the back, slide off bobbin like this. Then you take the new bobbin, you slide it on, and once you put the tension band back on, you're ready to spin. Happy spinning!